Hi, so this is the second video in my series on solving loci problems with complex numbers. So in this question, we're given that the complex number z satisfies this equation, and we've been asked to find the minimum value and the maximum value of the magnitude of z. So because we're given this form, this is similar to the magnitude of z minus z1 is equal to r. We know from a previous video that this will look like a circle of center z1 with a radius r, okay? So we need to work out what z1 is. So if we say the magnitude of z minus z1, well, this will be a positive 8 because multiplying out the negative would give us the negative 8 plus the 6i. And this will equal 5. Can you see that when we multiply out this negative, we get the negative 8 and the negative 6i. So now we know that z1 is equal to 8 plus 6i. The center of this circle will be at 0.86 and we'll have a radius of 5 units. Okay? So I'm just going to sketch this more accurately on an Argan diagram. So we know that z must be at some point along the circumference of this circle. And we've been asked to find the minimum possible magnitude of z and the maximum magnitude. So we know that z originates from the origin. So the minimum possible magnitude would be from the origin to approximately here. And this will be z min. Now the maximum possible magnitude of z again would come from the origin. It would pass through the center and it would be at this point. We'll call this magnitude of z max. Actually, just to make this clearer, this minimum should actually fall at this point. Okay? And we also know that the radius of our circle is 5 units. So we'll include this in our diagram. 5 units. So the idea then, to work out the minimum magnitude, would be to work out this length, and then take away the 5 units of the radius. If we draw this right angle triangle, we know the base will go from the origin to the center, so 8. And we know it will have a perpendicular height of the y value of the center, 6. So the hypotenuse will be the square root of 8 squared plus 6 squared. So this will give us a hypotenuse of 10. And we know that this length is 5. So the minimum possible magnitude of z would be the 10 take away the 5. So this will be 5 units. We can work out a similar idea for the maximum magnitude of z. We know this length is 10, and we need to add on 5 more units here. So the maximum magnitude would be the 10 plus 5. This will give us 15 units. Okay? Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. If you did find that helpful, please like and subscribe. And you can download the full lesson and worksheet from my website, mrmathematics.com. There's a link in the description below. Thanks again and take care.